Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd. Those of us who are critical of things such as Amazon's Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, note I say Amazon as the opening tag on that. We've been very critical and asking a very important question with the lead up to the Rings of Power premiere. Where's another trailer? Where is another trailer? Where is more information on what's going on in this world? Gary from Nerd Roddick has been dropping some info bombs lately and because he has sources. I have no sources. I can only go by what he says, and I'm not going to do a video on what he says. That's, what is that? That's nothing. I got to work with what's given to me directly. Shilmenia has released this today. Amazon releases Lord of the Rings series trailer for Prime members only. You notice how they say Lord of the Rings series. They don't say Rings of Power in the title. And that's a discussion for maybe later today during the live stream. Because I thought I was going to wait to the live stream to talk about this because, newsflash, I'm not an Amazon Prime member. How am I going to watch this little teaser for a teaser trailer? Because that's what it is. It's a teaser for a teaser trailer. On July 14th, we are getting... The next trailer, possibly the final trailer, who knows? We're getting another trailer for Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power with less than two months until the premiere. I thought about this today. I knew about this a few hours ago and jumping around in my brain. What can I say? How can I talk about a trailer that I can't watch? How can I talk about something that I have no ability to rate or critique? Very simple. Why are they doing this? Why are they doing it like this? Because you note, you note, she'll be our gave him the idea here. Amazon makes an exclusive sneak peek at the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power available to Prime subscribers for the next 48 hours. Now, does that mean that this one minute sneak peek will be made available to everybody after tomorrow? I don't know. It doesn't say. Here's the thing. They're hiding still. They're hiding. You're Amazon. Biggest company in the world. You have all this power. All this ability to get your messaging out there immediately. Social media. You have a Twitter account. You have a YouTube account. I'm sure they have an Instagram account too and a Facebook account. I don't know. You could put this trailer out to reach every single person you might want to watch your show. Why haven't you done this? Because they're afraid. I've been saying this for a couple of weeks now as they drop these weird little teasers with no new images. And finally, we get these new images and they still are telling us really nothing. A comet in the sky. I believe that's the Numenorian Queen Regent that they've self-inserted in here. That's probably who that is. Another original character. Because as Gary from Nerd Roddick has pointed out, and I can quote him on this, there were female queens of Numenor, but not a queen regent. Not a regent. Who's going to apparently go off on an adventure with War Galadriel. The journey begins. The journey begins to continue to suck. Why haven't they released this? Because they know what's going to happen every time they drop a trailer. Every time they try to do something to influence actual fans to watch this. We're not talking about stands. I mean, stands, will you come by, come by here? Cry for me some more. Just cry. Try and, try and use your twisted logic to get at me. The fact that you're here and triggered makes me want to do it all the more. Because real fans are going to destroy Every single bit of trailer that Amazon deigns to grace us with. That's why they're hiding this behind a 48-hour paywall. And I looked at this article. I looked at this article here. There's no question. There's no uh, note that this one-minute trailer will be released to the public on Friday. I don't see that. All we see is that. We will, we will be getting a new trailer on July 14th. July 14th, Thursday, July 14th. You better believe I'll be there to break that down. In the end, this is another show of weakness, another sign of how afraid Amazon is to put out anything 
of Rings of Power to the general public because actual fans have torn this apart. Actual Lord of the Rings fans, one of the original fan bases in the world of pop culture, they are not having any of this. And they are ready and standing firm and united to push back against what Rings of Power is going to represent. It is not Tolkien. It is not Middle Earth. It is not Lord of the Rings. And oh boy, oh boy, this billion dollar fan fiction is going to get flushed down the toilet. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube where I'm here to earn your trust and support using, say it with me, facts and logic. Because facts and logic do not care about whiny fifis. If you're unhappy, that's your problem, not mine. Hit the notification button, share my video if you like what I'm preaching, and by all means, leave comments, especially you normal folk. I love to hear from you guys because you got your heads on straight. You are not whiny crybaby stands in SJWs who are to a one cowards behind keyboards. And I don't care what they think. I will never care what they think. But I will mess with them because they're so easily triggered. Thank you again for watching this video. Take it easy. Howdy, y'all. The first chapter of my fantasy novel, Guardian of Innocence, is now available for free. Click the link in the description below and join me in an old school good versus evil story where Cole Larrys, a disillusioned mercenary, suddenly finds himself dropped into the middle of a destiny he never asked for as the protector of Jania Sarai, a blacksmith's daughter who may hold the answers to finally stopping a millennia old threat to the world of Rosetta. Cole's perceptions of love, family, trust, loyalty, as well as his very beliefs in fate versus free will shall be tested as he struggles to keep Jania safe from the minions of the dreaded Zabor Tal, former champion of the gods and now ruler of the long-forgotten Yis Empire. Click the link below, enjoy the first chapter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and help it grow so that I can bring you the full story in the near future. Thank you, and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to get in touch with me, you can reach out to me at therennerd at gmail.com. That emails for channel business only so i check it on a daily basis also you can find me at the geeks and gamers forums under at roas and you can find me at rumble and odyssey the renaissance nerd thank you again see you next time